they spun this off into one called, uh, it's certainly the course must have been modified. I have to yeah. say here, I do not know, I have not seen an episode of American Ninja Warrior Jr. Yeah. But yeah. certainly, you could not send a kid out against what same, I've watched. Shockingly, it's, it's similar. Same, yeah, it's really? Very similar. That's what astounded us. What's we the had age no bracketing idea. So on it? 9 to 14. 14. But 9 mm -hmm. and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 compete. Now, what we found is the obstacles are slightly slow, slow, smaller, but proportionally, some of these people are 4 feet tall, 50 pounds. Right. So proportionally, the obstacles are every bit as big. And what we saw is we put them head to head. We had no idea how they'd perform until we got out there our first day. And I think after the first run, we both looked at each other. And yeah. <laughs> These kids are gang. They, they were shocked. And they, yeah. went, they went gangbusters on the course. And look, remember, they don't get hurt. They fall in different ways and, and they like pop skiing, back up. Yeah. But I love the fact that these kids represent something totally different. We just talked about this Purell generation where everything is sanitized. You can't fall. You can't mess up. Participation trophy. These kids, they wanted to earn it. Look, not every kid could hit the buzzer and, and go out. But the fact that they went back and supported the other kids, because this is ninja versus ninja mm -hmm. on the course. So right. they're not only competing against another ninja in their age bracket, but they're also doing it on the course. And to see them go and the competitive nature come out, it was old school. It's like, to me, it took me back it to the It was like 80s. Kurosawa, man. <laughs> I don't know if the 80s is old school for Hachimushu, you guys. But... <laughs> the Shadow Warrior reference out of Eisman. Now we're talking. I will tell you, the amazing thing, though, Dennis, is we were worried about how they would handle stumbling, how they would handle coming up short, losing a race. And we only saw a handful of kids start to cry. But what was amazing was the other kids, some of our ninja mentors would come up, and in about 30 seconds, they'd talk to them and go, you know what, everybody they falls. They'd turn around, and wow. you, saw, you saw life moments. You saw this kid learning, it's all right. You can stumble and get back in this. And you saw kids, I think, learning important life And, and I thought some of the awesome. tears on uh, American Ninja Warrior Junior 2 was tears of they wanted it badly enough, and so the fact that they didn't get it, they cared enough to cry, where yeah. some kids, when they fail, it's like, mm, so what? Uh, you know, because they don't want to experience the, 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 the gift of failure, because stumbling, there's a gift in that, because that's the only way you really get better. And those kids, I'm telling you, it was old school. Like, like going back to the 80s type uh, learning lesson. Well, yeah. maybe not old school for you guys, but it's old school for me. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.